Hello, it is Saturday, June the 15th. This is like take number a thousand. I tried to do some videos yesterday. I tried to do some unboxings. I've tried to do one today. I got, I was really getting into it and I got a phone call. So I'm trying this for the millionth time. I don't know why I try to do videos and I keep getting interrupted by something. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got a crown, the brown is crown full I, uh, countertop ice maker. I had a bunch of Amazon uh, credits, so it only ended up costing me like $52. It was a hundred and something. So I tried to unbox it last night whatever I did it would not work so I just went ahead and thought heck with it I'm gonna set it up forget the unboxing I have it sitting on my counter um, there is a lot to it there is if you move it you have to let it sit for two hours before you can use it um, I had to move all the stuff on my countertop all over the place and I'm gonna to have to revisit that because my air fryer is clear someplace else and you gotta move it around just to plug it in because the cord on the air fryer is actually shorter than the cord on the ice maker. Go figure. I thought of trying to start the ice maker this morning, but I have to leave in about 45 minutes to go out of town. So I thought, no, I just wait till I get back. So I was going to do that. Then I was going to unbox what I got on Prime Day, which is a 50 foot set of the Govi permanent outside lights for the house. Um, my house is pretty small. Um, I don't have a tall ladder to get up high and I don't feel comfortable that even if I did, so I was just going to see if I could put them around my porch, but there's a lot to that too. You really got to decide how you are going to put them up because they say to put them on the eaves of your house. I don't know if that's 50 foot. I don't know. I have a huge wasp nest in the corner of the inside of my porch. I have never had a wasp nest since I moved here 15 years ago so when you know when I want to do something on the porch I have a wasp nest so I got to do something with that I got to do some measuring and all this stuff before I even get into the box because I really want to see how I want to position these lights for the most effect I'm a big light person I like outside lights I like spotlights I like LED lights, colorful in your house. Um, yeah, I love lights. So this was pretty pricey, even with the percentage off that it was. And this is just a 50 footer. I can't, you know, if you wanna do, I don't know how high it goes with feet, but I think the maximum is like 400 and some dollars for these lights if you get the maximum feet that they offer. So yeah, pricey. So I have that in the works and um, I think that's all the unboxings I had. Um, let's see, I was going to tell you about the thing with, you know, what was so stressful lately. Um, to do a little background here, my boyfriend's mother, who has passed away last October, she lived across the street from me. So that is now my boyfriend's house, one of his houses. So that's the background. And two weeks ago Saturday, today, he decided to clean off her screened in porch. She liked flower pots and wrought iron and she was a cluttery person. So that screen and porch was full, believe me. So he decided to kind of clean it off, get all the clutter out and all that. So he took all these flower pots and he put them 
in the yard. Now, I don't just mean uh, terracotta little flower pots. These were big, these were small, these were just all sorts of sizes flower pots. And they, they were ceramic, they were metal, they were, you know, you name it, she had it. So I went over to my house here across the street, so I wasn't there. And apparently he tripped or got his foot caught in a wire flower pot, I guess you'd say, and fell backwards and his back of his calf fell onto a ceramic flower pot. Well, he has been taking a mega blood thinner for a long time. I don't know why that cat's making that noise. <laughs> and so, needless to say, he was just bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. He said he didn't realize that he was cut, really, until he stood up and the blood was just gushing. He could not stop it. His phone was not on him, as you probably figure. So, um, apparently some guy and his little boy happened to be walking up the sidewalk. He said nobody had come by, no cars, no anything. He was yelling. I didn't hear him. The neighbors didn't hear him. So, to backtrack again, I do have a ring doorbell. And I have, this neighborhood is a very bad neighborhood. During the day, during the night, there's a bunch of weirdos. Uh, we got a drug house up on the corner. Um, cars, it, it's just a mess. I do not open my door for anybody. I don't care who they, I just don't. I don't open my windows. I live right on an alley and I don't trust having my windows open in this neighborhood. So I was over here and somebody was ringing my doorbell. So I looked out at the camera and it was a guy and this kid. And I'm like, why is this guy and this kid ringing my doorbell? I don't know him, I just ignored it. So then they kind of kept at it. They kept knocking on my door and I thought, why are these people banging on my door. So I zoomed in on the doorbell camera and I saw my boyfriend sitting over there at his, at his house over here. He was on the ground and he was just sitting there. And I thought, why is he sitting there when these people are ringing my doorbell? And I kept watching and he kept sitting there and so eventually the people went away and went back over there and was on the sidewalk and he was still sitting on the ground so i'm like you know i don't get this but something's going on so i went over there and needless to say i felt really stupid because i found out that they were trying to get me to come over there because of what happened to him so he was sitting on the ground and his whole leg from his knee down was just a sea of red. It was blood city. Um, his shoe was soaked, his sock was soaked. He, he was just a mess. And the guy had called the ambulance and um, I had gotten right over there when the ambulance pulled up and um, they wrapped his leg up in gauze, but it just it just kept coming through. I mean, apparently it was a very, very bad um, cut. And so um, he stayed calm during the whole thing. I don't know if it cut him so bad, you know, how it doesn't even hurt. But um, they took him in the ambulance and I followed in the car and he ended up having a road map of stitches he nicked an artery and it was very, very, very deep. So he cut himself there and he also cut himself on the other side of the same leg, which required stitches too. So he was in ER for about three and a half hours or so. And um, he came out with crutches. He wasn't supposed to put any weight on his leg and uh, yeah. So he stayed over at my house for about four days and um, the, there's pets over at his 
his I'll just say his mom's house and so he's got a lot of pets and he has a lot of homeless outside cats so I have I spent the majority of those four days just existing between working trying to take care of him he was in so much pain and couldn't get around and taking care of all the animals and his other house it was just it was a nightmare and I don't have a lot of stuff here I don't have a lot of resources I I don't have a lot of food over here you know so I had to go to the store like it was just <laughs> It was not my normal routine, let me tell you. I am a routine person, and I like things the same. I don't like change, like I'm sure everybody doesn't like change. And that was a tough, that was tough. So anyway, tough for me and tough for him. He didn't get any sleep, I didn't get any sleep. Yeah, so needless to say, last thing, to see Thursday we just had this week he had an appointment to see about getting his stitches out well he got a few out but his leg is still very very swollen they check for blood clots he doesn't have any blood clots so he can walk on it um, gingerly he still can't do any activity uh, such as mowing and that kind of stuff and um, he still has to be careful so he's got another appointment Tuesday next week to check back on it so hopefully he will be able to get the rest of the stitches out then but it has really messed up his even though it's been two weeks he you know he does stuff and he just doesn't like to be down you know nobody likes to be down so that was going on and work is i can't really talk about work but it has been a disaster we're short staffed we had a girl quit about a month ago and i work at a doctor's office and we're trying to see the same amount of patients with less staff and it's i can't get my work done no nobody can get their work done it's just tough it's it's bad <laughs> So, oh, and it's been so hot. My, I have two window air conditioners, one in my living room, one in the bedroom, and I can't run them both at the same time because of my electrical. I have a very, very old house, and I'm sure my electrical is probably as old as the house is. This house was built in 1898. So, and I don't think that this window air conditioner in the living room is doing well. It's a Frigidaire. I will not buy another Frigidaire air conditioner. I've not had luck with them. I have had this one for seven years, but it never ever has really put anything out. It's never been that cool. And it is like an oven in here. It's still like 87 degrees and I've had this window air conditioner in the living room on for ever since I got up in the morning. I mean, it does really basically nothing. I can't afford to get a new one, so it's going to have to work for now. But not telling the sad story, just telling how it is. Um, I do have my tanning bed in the bedroom, so at night I sleep in the living room on the couch. I do not have a bed, so I sleep on the couch with no air conditioning on in the living room. So the air conditioner can be on in the bedroom. So when I get up in the morning, I could tan and then I'll come back in here and I can turn this one on. It's complicated. When I have the tanning bed on, I cannot run anything else in the house. I turn all the lights off. The lights are off in the bedroom and all I can run is the tanning bed itself. So it does have to be cool in there so it does not ruin my tanning bed. That's, that's just what I do. It might sound stupid, but that's what I do. And that's my life all summer long. I tan from March until the end of August or usually till Labor Day. This year, I, you know, I had my tanning bed problems. I had to have it fixed. So I didn't start tanning till probably the third week of April this year 
which ended up fine. Um, you know how burnt I got. So, um, but that's just what I do. And um, yeah, it's been very, very hot. Very hot. I have no air in my car. So, um, and for some reason, this car is super hot. It's a light color. It's like a celery green color. But I don't know why, but it is just baking in there. I did get one of those um, things that you put on your windshield, you know, to block the sun, you know, one of those reflector things. And it helps, but it doesn't help a lot. Um, I've been on a trying to lose weight. I did fairly well for about a month. And last weekend, I blew it. I just blew it. And this week has not been good. I've had stuff going on. I haven't been able to get on the treadmill after work. And uh, I can tell I need to get back on the treadmill. I do better if I watch my weight and work out on the treadmill. So I didn't get to walk all week except like one day this week. So. I'm going to try and get back on the treadmill sometime today. Um, so there's that. Um, my nephew, who's 16, had a surgery yesterday. So, and my mom's been spending the week this week at my sister's. So that's where I'm going out of town here in just a little bit. I'm going to pick my mom up. And then on the way home, we're going to visit my nephew and see how he's doing. And uh, I think in two weeks from Friday, I've got an appointment. My, my daughter has an appointment actually to see a neurologist. She is having some very bad back issues. She can hardly walk. She has to use a walker. She can't get around. And we're going to talk to a neurologist, frankly, about, I guess, surgery because without surgery, this is the way she is for now. So, and, and she's young and, you know, I know this surgery would be a really big deal. It'd be a lot of recovery. So we really have to talk Frank with this doctor, at the neurologist, which is at a big university hospital about an hour away from here. So that's on a Friday. So Fridays are really the only day I can do things. Um, we do go to some clinics at our office out of town and I can get away then too. But when we have patients, I can't get away. I can't go anywhere. So uh, luckily this appointment is on a Friday. So I am going to drive her up there with my mom. So that's going on. Um, I can't remember if I told you about my new kitten. If I did, don't listen to this. I can't remember. Um, oh, I guess it's been maybe about three weeks now. Um, there was a kitten that was in the truck of my boyfriend's parked over here at the mom's house. And it was tiny. Found out it was six weeks old and uh it was in there for maybe about four days it could climb up into the engine and we had the hood up and i was i gotta yawn sorry i'm tired um engine of the truck and i was feeding it canned food through there because it was really hungry and i grabbed it because i knew I better grab it or it's going to get out of the truck and we won't be able to catch it. So needless to say, I was not looking for another cat. So um, I didn't quite know what to do with it because my house has limited space. So I have a, another cat named Shorty. Nobody likes Shorty. None of my other cats like Shorty. So Shorty is in another room by itself. Well, I put this kitten who I named Ranger because it was in a Ford Ranger. I put this kitten in with Shorty. Well, the first night I thought Shorty was just gonna annihilate it. Yeah, I didn't, it, that cat was not having this little cat. So for two nights, I put it in the bathroom. 
by itself. So then the third night, it seemed like Shorty changed her tune and she took care of this kitten. Um, so she's taken to this kitten now and uh, it works out fine. They don't hear, I don't hear a peep out of them. So that happened. Um, my boyfriend's, one of his cats had, I think three or four kittens just recently. And I haven't seen them yet because uh, where the mom has them, the mom's name is Cutie, where the mom has had them, she won't let them come out. So I've been over there three times trying to see if the kittens would come out and they have not come out. So that's that kitten story. Um, let me think, I don't think I have anything else going on. But it just seems like everything with a combination has just been crazy. It's like work. I didn't get home from work Thursday till 5.30. And that's pretty late for, for me. And uh, it's stressful. It's very stressful. I love what I do. I love where I work. I've been actually my work anniversary was Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday this week. I have been there 29 years. And... Um, I do like what I do, but ever you know, it's stressful sometimes. And right now is a stressful time. We had an ad in the in the paper and online, and not one person was interested. Nobody wants to work anymore. Nobody wants jobs in my town. There's people. There's businesses all over looking for workers, and they cannot get workers. So I think it's just gonna be us at my job, doctor and me, and uh, I feel like I got fur on my face from the cats, and uh, another girl, and that's all we've got. So hopefully we can get through all this and get the schedule regulated so it's not so demanding. Um, I haven't looked on my videos. I had a video the other day I was trying to tell you does anybody know what kind of powder to use so my face isn't so shiny? Now today, I used a different brand of makeup. I used Urban Decay. Um, I have some of that left in a dark color. So I did try that today. My face doesn't look as shiny as it has, but it's still pretty shiny, which I don't like that. And I went to Ulta, as I showed on my Ulta haul in another video, and I mentioned that to them, and they suggested this Clinique press powder, and it's not doing me a darn thing. My cover girl did better than that stuff. So, um, I don't know. I know the Laura Mercier people really talk about that. I can't afford that this time. But uh, I do have my eye on that on eBay, so uh, maybe I can eventually try that. But yeah, this is better, but it's not great. So I don't know what the deal is. I, my face has always been shiny and I have always had trouble with it, but it seems like right now it's like super shiny all the time and I can't do anything with it. Oh my God, can you believe it? I've been on here 23 minutes and I have not had one phone call. I have not had one thing on the scanner. I haven't had any cats attacking my selfie stick. Oh my God. Um, I don't have any family things coming up except um, August the 12th. My brother and his band are playing close to here. So um, we're gonna be doing that. And I'm really looking forward to that. That's another, that's a thing why I am trying to lose weight um, to fit in the clothes I want to wear for that. It's not really that far away. And um, I think we're gonna eat out today at Culver's after we see my uh, nephew. So I guess I'll have to start really watching it tomorrow because I am gonna walk today on the treadmill, but um, that's kind of going to mess me up too. So I try not to eat out too much. I know there's sometimes you can't help but eat out. So somebody mentioned on one of my videos about sending back my Golo. 
that was a joke. That Golo stuff was a joke to me. It kills me every time that lady on that commercial says, and I'm not eating diet food. Yeah, you are. Because you can only eat so much, so little amount of a li of food on a list. So what do you call that? Is that not diet food? You're not eating anything you want. I gotta watch my time. So, yeah. I don't know. People have their opinions on that stuff. I wasted my money on it. I have two full bottles of it, but apparently you can only take it back within 60 days that you bought it, and I bought it in like January, so I just threw it out yesterday, actually. So I'm just going by watching what I eat and trying to exercise as much as I can. So, but I'm gonna have to go here. Um, it's getting time, so I have to run to my mom's. My car does not drive out of town, so whenever we go out of town, I have to drive her car, so I gotta go to her house and and uh, get her car and check her mail and all that stuff, so. Okay, thanks for sticking with me. I would have done this in the car, but I don't, I've been trying to, one more thing before I go. I've been trying to get some kind of a car mount for inside my car for my phone. I have not had any luck. The last thing I bought had a real sticky bottom and you were supposed to stick it on the dashboard. That thing didn't stick worth a crap. And I uh, wasted my money on it and I just, I need something that's not expensive to use in my car to mount my phone so if you guys have any suggestions anything on amazon because i usually shop on amazon let me know um i've got an iphone pro max 14 so in case you need to know what kind of phone i have and um yeah so i need to do that so i better get off of here because i can see another subject coming i was going to talk about the next iphone coming probably in september but I better stop because if I don't quit talking, I'm not going to get anything done. I'm just on a roll since I have not been interrupted. <laughs> so thanks for watching all the latest stuff going on with me. Thanks for watching my videos. Sorry I didn't get the unboxing ones in there. I saved them. I got the ice maker actually about four days ago. And I've saved it to try to unbox it for you guys. And it just did not work. I got the Govi light sitting over here. Um, I may try to tackle that again when I actually unbox that. I have not taken anything out of the box yet. So uh, like I said, I wanna get some of my measurements figured out before I do that, so. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend and um, I will catch you guys later.